Brian Marisock, the Auto Man here. Today we're talking about the smog check program and how it can affect you and your vehicle. Most people get that smog notice and they go, oh, but really it doesn't have to be that bad a thing when you're dealing with it, to be honest with you. Most cars today sail right through without a problem whatsoever. So depending on what you have going on makes a big difference. Now there's a couple kind of smog stations, obviously. Uh, there's a smog test only station and they can pretty much test any vehicle as far as that goes. There's a test and repair station. They can pretty much test anything that's not uh, star station required. And then of course there's star stations as far as that goes. So depending on what you need on the top of your notice, it'll let you know what you need. The car is pretty good electronically at keeping track of itself these days. So 2000 and newer vehicles are done by an inspection visually and then a plug and play. There is no dyno test for those vehicles. Um, when you're talking about uh, any vehicles that are 1999 or older, uh, they most of them require a dyno test as far as that goes. There's several things involved in it. You want to make sure you keep your vehicle in good working order. Check us out at westautomotivegroup.com if you have any questions. I'm Brian Bowersock, The Auto Man. For the latest automotive news and helpful tips, join The Auto Man next Friday following News 8 at 7 a.m. and 7 p.m. on The CW San Diego.